Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video we're going to look at how to isolate a variable. Now we kind of talked about it in the previous video, where we looked at going from standard form of an equation to our graphing form. We want to continue that idea and look at other equations that might not be in those two forms, but we can definitely still learn how to isolate a variable and get it by itself. Let's go ahead and look at this equation here. The equation that I want us to focus on is f equals 9c over 5 plus 32. Now, this is actually the equation that scientists use to convert temperature. This converts Celsius into Fahrenheit. And what I want us to do for this problem is I want us to solve or to isolate 4C. When I solve for this equation at the end, we should have C all by itself on one side of the equal sign, and we'll have all the rest of the terms on the other. So let's go ahead and get started with this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my C into a different color just so it's a little easier for me to keep track of that variable. Now I, now I need to figure out how I'm gonna undo all of the stuff on the right side to move it over to the left side. Well, right now I see there's a big plus 32 on the right side here. I really can't touch the fraction until I move the plus 32. So since I'm adding 32 on both sides, I'm going to subtract 32 on both sides. And by doing that, those 32s cancel on the right side. And on the right side, I'm just left with my 9 fifths C. The 32 has now been moved to the left side, and that has now become 5 minus 32. Already you can see that the right side has become less cluttered, and I'm very close to getting to C. Now what we have going on here is we have C being multiplied by 9 and being divided by 5. Now I want to undo the fact that C is being divided by 5. To do that, what I'm going to do to both sides here is I'm going to multiply it by 5. And if I multiply it by 5, then what happens on the right side is that the fives just cancel. Because I'm taking C and I'm dividing by five and multiplying by five, those just turn into a one. So on the right side, I'm just left with nine C. Now on the right side, if I really wanted to, I could distribute the five out, but I don't think it's really necessary because I'm just gonna leave it as five times the parentheses f minus 32. All right, we're almost done. I want to get c by itself. Right now we're multiplying by 9. And since I'm multiplying by 9, to undo that, I need to divide by 9. Now by dividing by 9, I cancel out the 9s on the c. And look what ends up on my right side here. I am just left with c on its own. And what I'm left with is this big mess on the left side. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to leave it as that big mess. So we're going to have 5 times the quantity F minus 32 all over 9. And there we go. That is our final answer. I want to just throw it back to the top. We started with F equals 9 fifths C plus 32. And through all of this work, we have now changed that equation. We've solved it for C. C's all by itself, and it equals what we see here. Now, I do want to highlight some points about this, right? When you isolate a variable and you get it all by itself, you should hopefully see some similarities. One similarity that pops out to me is that in our original, we were adding 32. But now on this changed equation, we're subtracting 32. And that should make sense. Because if I wanted to move 32 over, instead of adding, I needed to subtract. 
same thing with the fives. Over here, I was dividing by five, but now in my new equation, I am multiplying by five. You see how it's kind of flipped now on top of that fraction. And I hope that you can now point out that since the nine was being multiplied, it's now being divided down here. All of those terms have kind of changed and done the inverse. So as you work through these problems, you'll start to see that these inverse properties will pop up. All right, guys, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.